In this tutorial, we will create a brief system of water uh, tubes, like the one you see here. And I'm saying it's a brief system because we don't see much of differences between uh, the pieces, but still it can be used for games environment or for uh, architecture visualization. Okay, let's start if a brand new file from file menu. And I will start my tube, if we check back that image, this is a tube, I will use a tube for creating this one, and actually I will duplicate it to have this other one. And similarly, I will have a tube for this, and I will duplicate it to have these three knots. So let's start by creating a tube, and I will activate snap toggle, we create that one. right click to deactivate it from modify let's change parameters radius 1 I will make it 10 radius 2 will be 12 so I don't need too much thickness height will be 100 height segments I will leave it to 40 cap segment I don't need it to be detailed so it will still be 1 and sides 18 is fine if you want to raise it but 18 gives me the smoothness I need in this tutorial. Now I need to create what you see here, this, this curvature here. I use a modifier called bend modifier. We never used it before. So I go to modifier list and I will use bend modifier. And then I will change the value of bend. Here we can look at the parameters. We have different parameters here. We have the angle. If I raise it, minus or plus, and I have uh, that as a parameter of direction, I can change the direction the bending goes. Let's set it back to zero. You can set any parameter back to zero by right click that arrow here. And bend axis, I will keep it to Y because I need the curvature to go on the Y axis. And here we have these two limits if we want to limit the bending on the upper side or the lower side. So let's set the parameter. Let's set the angle to uh, 240. And I will leave the direction as it is. I will, I'm not going to change the direction. As you can see here, that's what I get. I get that bending. But that's not the one I get here in this image. I, I bend here only in this area, so this area is not bending, similar for this area too. That can be achieved through the limit effect. So I activate limit effect, and I will set the upper limit to 65. And of course you can go back and forth with uh, the value of different parameters until you get the one uh, that suits your application. or or the, uh, the scene you're working on. I will set the lower limit to minus 22. That will work fine for me. So that's it, that's what we get. We reduced that much rough amount here for this uh, upper value, and that's for the, uh, the lower value, we limited the uh, bending from this part here. Okay, let's select this guy, let's raise him up. And I need first to deactivate this snapping. Okay. Let him rest here. Let's change to top view so we can put him right in the middle. Okay. That's that's fine. Okay. Now I need to create the other part which is the Nut. I need to create a nut because this one will be duplicated and that's it for this piece. So let's uh, get back to top view and here in this area I can create another tube. I need to select it first and then right click. Okay. 
Here, there's something we need to learn. That tube will be fit outside this tube. That knot will be fit around or outside this tube. So the inner radius must be the same as the outer radius of this one. As you recall, it was radius 2, it was 12. So radius 1 here will be 12. And radius 2, we can raise it by two values, something like 14. Height, I will keep it to 2. And height segments, that will be 1. I don't need that much of segments. Cap segment 1. And sides, let's, uh, let's make it something like 16. I always prefer to use a, uh, a value for sides that is divisible by 4. So whenever I want to model the sides of it at any time, it will be easier for me to select uh, uh, divide by 4 and then make my selection. Okay, and I will deactivate the smooth. Before I do that, let's change to perspective view so you can see what we are doing here. As you can see here, it's smoothed. There's some smoothness. If we deactivate smooth, it will be more crisp. And that's suitable for the job this guy will do. We need actually to raise the height. Let's make it something like 4. Let's check back the image here. No, it was, it was more than 4. Let's make it um, 6. Okay, 6 is fine. Then I will right click and convert to editable poly. Let's go selection of polygon mode. Select one by one, one and leave one of the uh, exterior polygons. So we need to make it, I, I press control to do multiple selection. Now I need to uh, make two steps here. I always uh, orbit around it so I can make sure I'm not selecting any other thing by mistake. I need to do two things here. I need first to make an extrude and it will be by polygon. The value by polygon. The value will be uh, something like 1. 1 is too much. Let's make it 0 0.7. Press OK. And then I will do another bevel with the value of 1.2. And uh, let's make it minus the beveling minus 0 0.5. That's too much. Let's make it 0 0.3 and press OK. That's my uh, my nut. Maybe I need to make it scaled up on the z-axis. I select, of course, I, I change my selection mode to editable poly to object, not to polygon before I make the selection. OK, that's it. That's too much. Let's push him something like that. OK, let's now get back the top view so we can put this guy in position. I'll just grab him. Let's change now to front view. Of course you can use these uh, abbreviations here, F for front, T for top and so forth. Uh, I guess we need to push him down like that and then I will shift drag him to create an instance of it and why an instance not a copy because whenever I want to change it I can change one and the other one will be changed as well then we press ok I push him push him down He needs to go to the left just a little bit. Okay, now this guy, I will change my selection mode to rotate. Then I will activate angle snap tool. I will rotate him 
only on the y axis by 180 degree exactly I will make it an instance too so I can change it whenever I want and he needs to be pushed beneath that knot okay finally I need to select this guy shift drag him instance and let him be pushed up just like that see it's easy so without too much of modeling we created something we can make handy in our project keep up with us in the next tutorial